you're excited for more Spider-Man, sometime soon, possibly, along with Venom, Sony's entire future slate might be delayed. We don't know. Nobody's talking about anything. Um, I mean, we knew Venom was getting delayed to mid-October for like two weeks before it was confirmed. Like, it was just like, guys, this is happening. We see it internationally. You started to tell, you know, tell your partners and everything. So they try to pretend like it wasn't. And then it was confirmed. And um, now it's like, again, I think it was Variety that reported. They're like, they're moving it to the 15th, but um, they're looking at January to March for Venom. <laughs> I mean, Christ. look, if that gets delayed, delayed to January to March, Morbius is getting delayed out of January. Spider-Man yep. is going to what, July? Mm -hmm. Back to the July date. That means Doctor Strange is going to have to move as well. Doctor Strange moves back to November, mm -hmm. two Novembers after it was supposed to come out. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> Yeah, um... What a... But at least with that movie, you know, we haven't seen anything. <laughs> yeah, oh, exactly. It's not the Black Widow situation. Yep. And I hope, because rumors are running rampant, that it's like, oh, trailer's incoming. If they do release a trailer, I hope it's very loose. It's like the next chapter. Don't commit to this fall, this spring, this yeah. anything. Just be loose about it. And show us minimal content. Because the more they show the more trouble they get in because the anticipation yeah. is going to be too high. So I really hope that they're smart about how they market this. It's Sony, so eh, but at least Marvel Studios can be like, hey, guys, we really don't want to get ripped apart. <laughs> you know, it's... Uh, it's kind I mean, of... Marvel can say all they want, but will Sony listen? Probably not. Yeah. It's how it's gone before. And sadly, like... It's disappointing that it's going to come to this, but I honestly just told myself, I'm like, yeah, it's getting delayed. Don't even get hyped for it. Like, it's, there's no point that there is no point because no. we know it's going to happen. I mean, we look at it right now. The Suicide Squad bombed so hard that they already started pulling it out of theater chains. Like, so, uh, so you're, you're trying to tell hype beasts to not get hyped when there already are hypes and they're going into a frenzy. Uh, berating Marvel and Sony saying release the trailer. Yes. Non-stop every single day. Yes. Yeah, uh, no, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> trying to reason with the mob. Oh, yeah, that's never worked. <sighs> yeah. it's... Telling actors that have that not even uh, part of the situation to release the Sp Spider-Man trailer. <laughs> and it's like, what do you want me to do? Uh, so... I do also want to bring it up because an interesting piece of the conversation did pop up this week as well in regards to Sony. So, I know people will look at the mm. Hotel Transylvania films and be like, nobody mm. watches those besides the mm. fact that they make half a billion dollars each film. So, you, you, you say know. No, like, you say no one watches them, but if they really sit on streaming services, you, you they do realize that parents will leave it on for their kids yep. on repeat. For yep. hours. And I always, whenever a new one comes out, the theaters are full because kids yeah. go and it sells merchandise. So Sony is officially landing a deal with Amazon to stream it. And be careful with Amazon, they'll redub it. Yeah, it's I'm I mean, not bitter in the slightest. So. Look, it's I know that one is a particular I know what you're referencing to. That one <laughs> yeah. that one has a that one has a particular thing about it which is kind of dumb on both parts well sony's dumb on all fronts because well, the thing i'm referencing to the to major thing is it's, it's all on the original creators and yeah. on why that happened but yeah 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 i know what you guys are talking about but that's kind of the the whole amazon aspect here is think of it this way if they're willing to sell another big piece of this and Sony needs these out there. We've talked about this. You know, Ghostbusters is releasing before they release Venom. People just yep. need to understand that. They are not sacrificing Venom. So Venom it's... 15th, Ghostbusters a couple weeks later. Mm -mm, that's not happening. It, like I find, I find it really, really interesting that Sony is like willing to stream all their animated movies mm -hmm. than their live action. 
I because mean, like because like they have like a big slate of animated movies with a uh, Sony Animation Productions. So. Yeah, yeah. And those films have been more consistently profitable than their other stuff, which is again, you know, Sony's in in dire position here, and we know that they have they already have Amazon deals because they're producing <laughs> Silk. It got ordered to series. The bigger factor here is that I've seen everybody bring up is if Spider-Man or Venom or anything was to go to streaming, the complications of that would be just astronomical because Sony recently locked into Amazon deal, the Disney Plus deal, the Netflix deal, they have the AMC deal because that's their own thing and stars like... <laughs> These guys are pretty much a little bit everywhere, and you would have to assume Disney co-financing some of these films would be involved in the negotiations of what happens moving forward. But at the same yeah, time, yeah. with Sony, I honestly will not be shocked if every delay we start hearing this film is just going to get dropped here because we have to. We got to make money because what else are they going to do? I mean, remember when they owned James Bond? They were like... We're producing one more, but we're going to dump this because we, we, we can't afford it. It's like, bro, you don't say that in a public light. They were just like, but we can. It's, I mean, it <laughs> seems like they're just going all in with their animation studios at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I just think Hotel Transylvania is a test bed. Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely, you know, the, the, those movies, they, they can just pump them out and they're cheap. They're not expensive. Mm -hmm. It's going to make its money back on Amazon. So it's just like, let, you know, well... I said it's going to make some money back. They've already, it's like, what, 100 million Amazon have paid yeah. for that movie or something? Yeah. They're going to be paying. Like, we don't know. I don't know if it's going to be like how Neon Genesis was recently, where it's free to watch or it's included with Prime, or if it's going to be a paid for. I would assume it's probably mm -hmm. included, but who knows? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's one of those, like, see how oh, like, it does. Like, from what I, I remember, it's like, it's, it's like one of those. Um different different deals where it you know it'll be paid for and then after a certain while it'll be yeah included. yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's what i meant like the I, say, I assume with sony it's going to be one of those like you know you have to pay for it and i mean let's say hypothetically if we got into a position where if they were to put venom or even spider-man on a if for some reason disney was able to work out a deal and spider-man goes to disney plus that thing will easily blow away Black Widow on Disney Plus without oh, yeah. a problem. Like yeah. they'd be like, guys, we made two hundred and fifty million opening weekend on Disney Plus. Oh yeah, yeah, it's it'd be huge. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, everyone, everyone would, would be you know subscribing to Disney Plus just for Spider Man. Yep, it doesn't doesn't matter the yeah. quality of the movie. They no, just, just get Spider Man. It. Yeah.